Turning to local politics now, and the fast-track legislation has triggered quite a bit of drama at South Korea's National Assembly, with the ruling party and minor opposition parties uh, on track to designating the reform bills as fast-track tomorrow is expected to put Parliament into a complete standstill. Kim Min-ji reports. The political deadlock over the fast-track legislation has brought the National Assembly to a halt. On Thursday, the Special Committee for Political and Judiciary Reform will convene to designate key bills as fast-track, one electoral reform on the other to create a body to investigate high-ranking public officials. The main opposition Liberty Korea party, which had been strongly against the move, launched an all-night sit-in to resist and warned of fierce action should the fast-track process go ahead. It's a shame that we're in this situation. Only the Liberty Korea Party stands in the way of this government's despotism. If we can't stop it, the South Korean government will fall apart. On top of that, there's been an internal feud within the minor opposition Padamita Party. Their floor leader is seeking to use his authority to replace a lawmaker on the Committee for Judiciary Reform to someone in favor of fast track to keep the plans from falling through. Three-fifths of 18 rival lawmakers on each panel needs to vote in favor of the move. The deal never had full support from Padamita Party lawmakers in the first place, and it's raised concerns of mass defections. The election law has always been revised through bipartisan agreement until now. The Liberty Korea Party earlier in the day lodged a complaint with the National Assembly Speaker to prevent the fast-track move, saying it goes against parliamentary democracy. To this, the speaker said it's a matter that parties need to solve through talks and that they can't just barge in. Have you ever seen a parliament like this anywhere in the world? This is the reality of South Korean politics. This is really heartbreaking. A chamber that treats the speaker like this is a war zone. The ruling Democratic Party called on the conservatives to end their boycott and get back to work. I ask the party to stop this, come back to parliament, pass the government's extra budget and take care of our other legislation. The situation will likely get worse on Thursday if the bills are fast-tracked. Parliament will be paralyzed for the time being, which raises doubts that the government's extra budget can be passed any time soon. The dynamics in the National Assembly could also change if there are indeed mass defections from the Padamita party. Kim Min-ji. 아리랑 뉴스